Thanks for joining me on this block list tutorial of how to get started with the CLI. We're going to install the CLI. We're going to install the local development environment. We're going to go ahead and initiate our first function, and then we're going to invoke that function. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we are on github.com slash blocklist network slash CLI. And you'll see that there are uh, two installation URLs here, one for curl, one for wget. Go ahead and grab the one that works for your system. I have curl here on my Mac. It's going to ask me for my sudo password so that it can place the binary in the correct position on the system. And we'll just go ahead and let it install. All right, once that's done, we'll go ahead and check the version that's available to us, typing bls space dash dash version. And there it is. So now we're ready. Let's go ahead and uh, use function init to start our first function. It's going to use a uh, auto-generated name for us, and we'll go, go ahead with the uh, experimental maroon kingfisher here. Uh, we have a few SDKs that can be chosen from, so we're going to go with assembly script, and then we have the hello world uh, starter template that we will grab. Once that's done, it's going to go ahead and clone that project into the directory, and it will set up any of the software that needs to be set up using NPM as well. We're going to go ahead and get into that directory, and let's take a look. And it looks like a pretty normal uh, node package to us. Let's go ahead and cat this bls.toml here. So this is a function uh, configuration description file. Uh, it explains to the BLS, uh, the BLS CLI how to build the various things. It also explains a few things about the deployment once you go ahead and deploy this to the network. But let's go ahead and build our first function, bls function build. All right, this will be pretty quick because it's just hello world. And now we'll have a build directory. Awesome. Now, if we want to execute that, we can do BLS. Oh, excuse me. BLS function invoke. Oh, it looks like we don't have the uh, local development environment installed. So it's going to go ahead and walk us through doing that. It's going to download the runtime. It'll download the networking layer and get that all set up. Uh, so you can use those locally to test your applications. And that's it. It executed and said, hello world. Let's go ahead and execute one more time. And you see, we've already got the development environment in installed. So we just get hello world back. All right. So we walked you through installing the CLI. We instantiated our first function, which along brought the development environment when we went to invoke that function. And you've seen the hello world come out. You did an entire blockless WASM function in just a few minutes. Stick around, and on the next one, we'll see how to deploy.